<laughs> hey y'all, welcome to The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker Randomizer. <laughs> Just laughing because it's like, well, another uh, Zelda randomizer. I totally don't love these guys. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Either way, as default or for names or randomizers or whatever, randomized name and our name is going to be Shay. And just before we go into the game, I'm going to tell you guys what is randomized, what's not randomized, etc, etc. So if you guys want to skip ahead to the actual start of the game, then you can skip to this time. And if not, then I'll let you guys know what's going on. So I randomized that dungeons, not the entrances, but the items that are in there can be progressive. I, as well as your great fairy. Short side quests, lookout platforms and rafts, free gifts, for example, Tingle, when you free him, will be free gifts. As well as submarines, miscellaneous, like Cyclops, and things that don't really fit in for like mini games and stuff like that. Big Octos and gunboats, Tingle's chests, mails, and eye reefs are all things that can have progressive items. And I think things that don't have items for like cosmetics, not cosmetics, for like, comfort things and stuff like that would be randomized starting islands, which I don't know what we'll start as because this is just going to be brand new. We also have the swift sail, instinct text boxes, or fast text box if you hold down B, uh, full, full sea chart, skip boss rematches in Ganon's Tower, ending and intro, or like if you just went through the whole menu for that the introduction to the actual game is skipped it's not in the game anymore and the enemy color palette is randomized as well but with that though since you guys know what's happening with there since i never actually said that in previous randomizers let's jump right into it and have custom model on <laughs> <laughs> we are going to be miss murray oh yeah and it looks like we started off in gale isle yes gale isle don't know why I want to call this one Stone Peak so much. I I don't know why. That's just in my head. There we go. Now it's just getting into the actual <laughs> feeling of the game with the controls and stuff. Because I'm used to doing the other randomizer, which has the N64 controls. And we're gonna start off us off at Mother and Child Island to see what item we get from the Great Fairy Queen. <laughs> Should be interesting. <laughs> Because she's not here, that's why I think it's interesting. I'm just saying things on my mind. I'm just rambling to you guys. Having fun. <laughs> and our first item is a golden feather. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'll take that. We don't even... Oh, you don't say it, Miss Shay. <laughs> Alright, so let's work out of here. And yes, for default randomizer, we already have the sun song. I know it's not what it's called here. The song of passing, whatever. We have the one that changes directions, and of course the warp songs. Those are defaults, as you can see. Well, whatever items are in the tracker right now are default. <laughs> and I thought that instead of just the hearts, like other previous randomizers that I had, probably gonna have like Tingle and maybe Beetle or whatever, or just Tingle, who knows. Just with chilling with the hearts right now, Tingle is just on top of the heart container, see what we get, if we get any in this episode or not. And I also don't really know where I'm going for he for over here. I guess I'll go say hi to... I don't remember his name, I keep wanting to call him Chad. So, I guess we can call him Chad until I remember his name. Todd. Todd. Hello, Todd. I'll skip your dialogue. See, that's fast dialogue there. Okay, now he's gonna tell us the song of passing, which we already know. So we get whatever item we get from that. <laughs> yeah. How? Oh, I freaking love this character. And my cat's getting off the cat tree. <laughs> it's making a loud noise back there. Like, boy, you good? But we know he's good. Oh, okay. We got ourselves an empty bottle. Let's get these on the tracker. Let's not select the, uh, the magic there, though. There we go. So that's one. Oh yeah, thanks Todd. I appreciate you giving me that bottle. And hmm. Now the next thing would be going on a ship or going to Tingle. Hmm. I guess we can go on a ship since we're right beside Todd anyways. 
And yes, some of these custom models, like so you can tell, have different customized items. Like we have the Hero Shield right now, which is a chalkboard for Miss Marie. I'm kind of curious to see what the uh, Mirror Shield is going to look like. And Custom Boy's Voices, which she seems to be a little bit quiet, mind you. I'm recording my speakers for whatever reason. Sometimes record with my headphones, sometimes I just record <laughs> without them. So it's kind of awkward. So I don't remember if it's selected or if, if it is a selection. If we can uh, change it from the he and him or whatever from he or she. So I know that Tetra is also one of them, at least I think. Zelda is definitely one of them. I saw that she's on the list of custom models as well, which I think is kind of fun. The fact, I get to play as Zelda and see a Zelda too. And as far as I know of, that doesn't change anything like it does with Cafe in the Randomizer. Is if we're Majora's Mask Randomizer, sorry. No, for that, we can select to be Cafe, and the Randomizer actually changes Cafe to be Link. So there's not just two cafes. Let's see what we get from here. We get... Okay, Cabana Deed. Okay. We don't have the uh, Spoils bag or anything. I know that... For that, it's not the spoil bag, I think it's just the mail bag. So once we get that though, then we can definitely head on to the cabana. So we can go in there. Though we wouldn't be able to do anything in there anyways. Because we don't even have the hookshot or the grappling hook. Or even the uh, skull hammer. So it's like we gotta get those first before we get that. But if we get that now or whatever, then... Hey, I won't complain. Whoops. Squishing us right against there. <laughs> So yeah, I really enjoy playing the Wind Waker randomizer. I told you this, I think, in one of the last two Majora's Mask randomizers. One that beat this game once and I beat it again just before doing this. Because I was just testing out different things of how I enjoy playing it and what I think would be best to watch. Which is why I selected what I selected. And hello, Tingle! So yeah, it's, it's really fun. It's also really quick. Too. Like it can be really quick, it can be really slow, but it can also be really quick. And let's just skip what Tingle says here. <laughs> we get should get two items from Tingle as well. The first one will be Maggie's letter. Okay, so once we get that, we can do that. I will still select that since we have that anyways. That and Gabbana. And let's see what the second one is. Hopefully it's gonna be something good. And we got ourselves. To try for a shard. Okay, for whatever reason, I don't know if this is set to be happening, but the last two randomizers that I played for this, he's had a try for a shard. I'm like, don't know why, I ain't complaining. It sets us, it sets us up fairly quickly. So wait, let's get the uh, rupee down here. Because Tingle might, Tingle, Beetle might have something uh, pretty good for us. And I don't quite remember the way through here, so hopefully it won't take us too long. There we go. So it looks like I just took quite the wrong path. I was like, I'm pretty sure we need to take a left at some point. Okay, some silver rupees. That means we need not to worry about collecting more rupees until we use the 200 rupees that we got. The 100 rupee, actually. Or is it 200? I don't remember, I get Majora's Mask one set by default, so it's kind of just like, it could just be 100, but I think it's 200? I don't know. Or vice versa. I get them so confused. Let's see here, yes, 200 rupees, perfect. And speaking of Beetle, he will be here. I don't know why I said Beetle, not just Beetle. Oh wait, no, for some reason he just isn't in Windfall Island. I don't really know why that is, but it is that way anyways. Okay, let's see here. I think that's pretty much what we can do here. Just gonna check the map. There's actually a... It comes up with a map too, but it's just hidden behind Tingle. Oh, that's right. We can do the uh, the battle squid. Can't really do much else. But while you run, run over there, I will just look up here. So we got Tingle Prisoner. Got both of those. Tot stacking. I don't know why I said tot danking. <laughs> wait, yeah, okay. I was going the right way. I was like, wait, is this the wrong way? It's like, nope, we are fine. 
Okay, here we go. So, let's give this a try. Kinda bad at doing this one, but sometimes it's just good luck. We will try three times. Cause it could be something good, even though I don't have something select- Even though I don't have that selected for randomized. Okay, so just that one. Since there are another ones going to be nearby. Two... Okay, so the last one. Okay, not that one. There, not there, not there. Okay. Ooh. Perfect. So there's the first one that we can get. The second one's probably gonna be a lot more harder. Also, absolutely love Salvador. Ooh, the Octo Chart, which we can actually use. I don't think I can select that though. Nope. It's just, that's a ghost chart, which I knew it was. I don't know why you had to select certain charts, but I guess that's because there's just a lot of charts that we can select. Okay. Eh? 10 rupees? Yes. I'm gonna try that again. Probably not gonna go nearly as good, but still going to try. Okay. Try up in a quarter? Definitely not. Okay. <laughs> no, well, if anything, I can just get this either off camera. Okay. Because I don't think we ne necessarily need to beat a high score. So I'll try this, i say, three more times, because we might not get this here. But I'll try it three more times after this, yeah. Okay, so, I'll be back for three or two more times. Man, you guys were just making me nervous, apparently. As soon as that stopped, I was like, nope, we're fine. <laughs> but alright, let's see what we get for the second prize. The skull necklace, okay. I didn't think we would get anything from Battle Squid, but again, you never know. <laughs> At least I think that's it, unless we have to beat a high score, which I'm pretty sure we did beat a high score. I don't know. Either way, we can always just come back. Now, let's check Miss Marie here. Miss Marie will see Miss Shay, which I believe the model for Miss Marie is shorter than the in game's model. By model, I mean the player's model. Yep, we're slightly shorter. Hello, Miss Marie. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> I love her laugh. It's like, oh, we need to talk. No, I'm flashy. So I'll go through here, which will be... I don't remember the freaking kid's name, so the killer bees. I believe that's what they call themselves in here. <laughs> I like this. I like how they're a reference to the bombers. Okay, you. I need to talk to you. Yeah, don't you yeah me. <laughs> I mean, you can yeah me, but don't yeah me. I'd, I'm like, no. Mm -mm. Your funeral. <laughs> I don't know why out of all the words that my brain picked out, it was the your funeral. <laughs> like, damn, Todd. Don't know why I called you Todd. You're not even Todd. Like, damn, kid. What, you trying to kill us or something? Nope. I don't remember if I... Uh, stop selecting the, yeah, the tree. <laughs> stop selecting the pig. Apparently the pig is just a tree now. Good to know. <laughs> Alright, so time to do the chase one. This is one I just kind of remembered. Nope. It's not really selected for a randomizer. Dang it. Dang it, kid. It's too bad for this one. You can't just, like, hookshot them or anything to, like, to stop them from running. <laughs> so they just keep running, running, running. While they stop and talk to you. Or, I guess, watch you, technically, but still. And yes, roll from habit. Don't know why in every Zelda game we just gotta roll. <laughs> it's got a roll. Except for maybe Breath of the Wild. Which I have a copy of, but I haven't played it yet. I'm waiting for the, the right time to play that. Which will be soon. And fortunately I don't have a, anything to record the game with, but... Eventually I'll also record it with you guys. If you guys are interested in watching Breath of the Wild content, let me know. I'm all ears. I love engaging with you guys. I just love you guys. Oh, I also did not realize I can just climb up there. I always thought you had to jump off into the ocean, but you don't have to do that after all. Okay, that was easy. Just running into the pig. And yet you're lame. You almost ran into a tree, kid. And trees are just pigs, I guess. <laughs> now the one that I sort of forget, I'm pretty sure, is up here. No, there's one... No, maybe not up here. This one I kind of forget about, the blue hair kid. As you know, it's in one of these areas, I don't remember exactly where. Okay, it was up there. And there's one behind the gravestone, which Todd is dancing in front of. <laughs> which looks like we'll be going up that path anyways, from the way the kid is running. 
So don't remember if this kid is male or female. I don't remember. <laughs> this looks and sounds like a kid, but I'm pretty sure all the, uh, the killer bees are males. Could be wrong. I'll have to look that up after. Just rejog my memory. And let's make sure we actually go towards Todd here. <laughs> Hello, Todd. Good to see you again. And for some reason, I don't know why I always think this is going to run off the freaking cliff. But that is not the case. I also have a hair on a popper, so sorry if you guys are shaking about in like audio stuff like that. Oh, he does jump off the cliff. Okay. He's like, I don't know why he just decides to jump off the, uh, the cliff here and decide to pretty much break his leg in a way. But he does, and I ain't complaining. So it looks like he runs the slowest. I don't know if that's the case or not, but it looks like it. There we go. All the killer bees. So let's see what we will get from them. We got ourselves another empty bottle. Okay, I will take that. I will take as many bottles as possible. Because that means once we go to... Wait, I don't remember if we have to talk to Miss Marie or not, though. Hello. I will talk to her anyways. I don't think we get anything, but... We could. It's possible. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna pause it just for a moment. Alright, alright, we are back, baby. <laughs> and we are one with the hair. <laughs> That's seriously like how we're just... A tiny version of her, like, her smaller cousin, Miss Shay, here. Anyways, let's see what we get from Miss Bari here, from dealing with the killer bees for her. We got to try first shard. Okay, that's quarter way through that. I will take that. Thanks, Miss Bari. So, so far, Windfall Island has actually been plentiful for us. I like that. Two bottles, a male almost said a bottle, which would be three bottles. I could be like a panna deed and of course two try first shards. Oh, so we head to the auction house now, of course not nighttime. It's not right now, but I don't think we necessarily need to do the auction house right now, because we'll be coming back here anyways. We can leave that for later. But I wanna get the chest that's in here. I think we can just climb up from here. Nope, we need to go up. Oh, we need to go all the way up. I don't know why that is, I don't, don't know why we can't just climb up there. This is not even that far up, but hey, uh, it's whatever. Okay, oops. Sorry dude, I didn't mean to like, talk to ya. But, we could do that later. For now, we can just go ahead and do this here. I believe this girl's name is Emila. So we turn it, turn it tonight. Let's not change the wind right now. <laughs> so we could do that too, because we can activate the, uh, the windmill. Almost called it Windfall, which would be the whole island. That would be kind of oppressive if we uh, ended up doing that. Like, yeah, man, we moved a whole island. <laughs> Alright, girl. Yes, yes, I know. Shush, shush. She just run off. The game is pretty much being like, yo, you should follow her. But I don't do that. I always wait up here. Uh, well, not up here, but up here is where I wait. Because I said it a little bit too early. But, yeah, we can activate the windmill while we're here. I believe we need to face it either north or south. I don't remember which way it needs to go. But this direction. So if we face... I believe it's this direction, that is. It's almost... So face this way and face the opposite way should be it. I think. I guess we'll find out. Oh, nope. That is the wrong direction. We do need to face the way that... Miss Shay is here, is facing. <laughs> I love how her mouth's like, ooh, ooh, what am I gonna play here? I like that. <laughs> exact same, ex exact same facial expressions that Link has. I had to say that sentence slow because that was one that I would have lots of trouble speaking. But there we go. I always forget which way the direction needs to go. But it needs to go the way that the, the wind that the circle is going. Whatever. You guys know what's up. And ooh, I like how it's just, just a uh, little ring out there in the distance. But right now it's just waiting for it to appear. Which I would say would be soon if it weren't for the fact that we went back and forth with that. So, oh, oh, there is Beetle on this island. For some reason, I just totally forgot that he was in this island. I don't know why. Even though I said, hey, we should do this, or I was thinking, hey, we should do this. But whatever. Let's see. Let's see if we can find me. I'll always jump off here, but she might be showing up sometime soon here. And just toss <laughs> head peeking out in the distance there. I love it. 
Oh, there she is. So, so, and hopefully we will actually be able to uh, talk to her and not get caught for whatever reason. Okay, so, target her, then speak. Okay, she shouldn't run away now. Perfect. Yes, it did start like you. So now it's pretty much just selecting the top one. Because they're just agreeing, just listening to her, but being like, No, we're honest here. And we got ourselves... Ooh. Okay, one Tingle statue. <laughs> I love the fact we can get Tingle statues in this game. <laughs> Thank bro. Alright. So now she's running off and she's now just not going to be a thief no more. Even though I don't think she was actually stealing anything before now, I think this was just a temptation kind of thing, if I remember. Uh, my memory for this game isn't the best, because I usually just skip the dialogue. Not always, but for things like this, I don't usually pay attention. And I don't know if it will be stopped by Maggie's dad here, which we are not. Okay. Oh, nope, you are. I'm just gonna skip him, because he thought we were the mailman, which we are not the mailman. Whoa! Oh, jumped on a chandelier there. Perfect, I'll take that. And let's see what we get inside this chest here. Got ourselves our first piece of heart. Alright. <laughs> Tingle will now have a little one next to him. And I don't think we'll get any rupees from here. Nope. That was only before Forsaken Fortress, which it cuts off the whole first part of Forsaken Fortress, which would be meeting Ganon and stuff like that for whatever reason. Well, I guess it's because it makes it a lot faster. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much what we can do here. I'm gonna check the map quickly here. It's pretty much what we can do. Yep, yeah, Mila. Mila is her name. Okay, perfect. And yeah, and well, we can't give Maggie her letter yet. Wait, no. No, we can't give it to her, but we can talk to her. Because she's like, Oh, Mo, my love in Forsaken Fortress. You, <laughs> you big hunk of a moblin. It doesn't say it in that exact words, but you can feel it in the heart. You can feel it as what she wants to say. <laughs> also love how the Moblin's name is Mo. Like out of all the names we can call it is Mo. Alright, Miss and Maggie here. Mila and Maggie, I like how close her na their names are. Also love her dress. So I'm just gonna skip her, because it's just a love, love. Oh, she gave me an orange rupee. And I say, oh, so aggressively like that, because we could have came back for that. Rupees are important, guys. <laughs> and I say that because it was just a pain in the butt just to find some rupees enough just to get a, I believe it was the spoilers bag or whatever from Beetle. It's like 900 rupees. No, it's a skull hammer I was thinking of. It's freaking expensive. Alright, I was just going to stop and swim towards him, but... We will just, uh, you are about to go towards here. Okay, that was the right button. I was like, I usually get the Z button and the R button confused. I don't know why. It just is in this game. <laughs> it's, but whatever. Alright. Hello, Beetle. What you got in store for us? Nothing. Well, we got bait, but we can't get the bait. So technically, in a way, nothing. But there is also something. Alright. So, let's see here. I believe we can go to Northern Fairy Island. I think it's the one we can go to. What is this one? Northern Fairy Island. Oh, that's right. The submarine would be up there, too. Sorry, I checked the map here and there. I will probably show you guys at some point what it looks like. Just right now, it's a bit cropped off and stuff like that. And <laughs> one thing you learn about me a lot... It's I'll either do this a lot, or I will sail pump, which I don't know if sail pumping actually does anything. I think it does, but I'm not positive. But this just places the ADHD, because I gotta have something moving, and it just so happens to be the right trigger. Why it is, I don't know. It just is. <laughs> Alright. Oh, but I kind of can just see Forsaken Fortress in the background. So while we're here, I'm also going to go ahead and get the blue chew jelly. I don't think we'll really get anything from the potion shop, but we could- oh wait, no, we can't get that because we don't have a sword as far as I know of. Do we have the sword? We do have the sword. Okay, we can select that then. Yes, hello, bombs. It's not the right tree. No, it is the right tree. Oh! 
Okay, so it's a different color blue this time. It's a dark blue. I think the ones that were randomized in my last seed were actually green. Something like that, not even blue. But alright, Miss Fairy, what where did we get from you, I wonder? I love the way they look in this game. I think roses and, f and flowers, it totally makes sense. I love it so much. <laughs> so we, we could take the cosplay as it would just be awkward. It'd be like cosplaying Fi since she doesn't actually have arms. Right, we got ourselves the beetle shop chart. Beetle shop chart. All right. <laughs> I almost said beetle shop chart. Now I can't even say when I almost said it, and I said what I first said there. But oh well. Take a second, we can get two. But I'll save the empty bottle because we'll get soup from the grandma, from the grandmama once we go ahead and see her. But right now we want to go to the submarine. I believe we can go ahead and get that. Yep. Oh my gosh, that gunboat startled me. <laughs> Just focusing on the submarine and whatever this guy's name is, or that guy's name is. Because this guy's name is King of Red Lion. Technically, in this game though, we can call him something else. So if you guys want a name, then King of Red Lion. You can go ahead and t do that if you guys would want to do that. Because for now, I'll just call him Boat. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just so lazy about naming him, but oh well. No, not so much. Not so much that. I just want to hear what you guys would want to call him. But alright, in here. I don't why. No, why I want to call him Pearly. Oh goodness, it's, it's the Moblin one. Whoops. All right, we'll just be on fire as the sail goes out. Alright, I don't know why that took me a while. Oh, so I can't believe I just totally forgot that this was the one that had the rope platform running on it. I think it's actually the only one that has it. I'm not really sure though. But whatever. We can go ahead and get the fairy back. And let's see what other we get in here. We got ourselves another Tingle statue. Okay. <laughs> kind of looks like he's dabbing, even though I know he's not. Kind of just looks like he's in the middle of almost dabbing. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so I can mark the submarine down now. Oh, it's the right crescent moon island, and there's another submarine there, I believe. <laughs> submarine is called Annoying Chest. I believe the one that's by Crescent Moon Island is the one with the mini moblins. Could be wrong, but I believe so. And let's see here. I don't think we can get another fairy. Okay, so which we need to go? We need to go east, okay. Probably going the wrong way. No, I was going the right way. Oops. Though that was wrong. Well, I guess if we go heading east anyway, so we may as well get another ferry and then go there. <laughs> so we can. Shouldn't be take too long. Hello, gunboat. You didn't startle me this time, sir. <laughs> Alright. Anyways. Hopefully it doesn't startle us again. That would be kind of hilarious, but it will also be sad. Actually, no, now we're here. We can actually go to... Uh, I don't remember what that is. Say so island is right before, right before the Forsaken Fortress. It's the one with all the rocks in it, and if you get the wrong rock, a mini mob pops out. I wish I could remember what the name of it is, but oh well, we'll head there instead. So the opposite way of where we're going, and towards Forsaken Fortress, because I believe that's the one that has a chest on one of the rafts. Because all it says on a marker is free chest. So if I had assumed so, that would be it. So this way. Not mother child. I mean, we could talk to him, but we'll leave. Get out to the Goron there. I think we need to talk to Taruma, whatever his name is first though. Let's see what the name of the island is. Star Island, that's what it is. Okay, makes sense, it looks like a star. Also, it kind of looks like those uh, 
the shards that you get in Skyward Sword for helping people. Don't remember what those are called either. And yes, sail pumping. Sail pumping is fun. I don't really know if it does anything. Alright, no, the free chest is actually on... No, that was in Transit Moon. Okay, so it was on here, that's what it was. I don't remember if any of... See, if this one has any of those bombs around them or not. Yeah, it does. I usually don't go onto rafts first. And I don't know why I call these rafts. Platforms first. But since the markers told me we can go here and get the free chest in here. May as well, I'll take your free chest. And then we can come back here later once we get bombs. And if we just so happen to get bombs in here, we'll get bombs in here. And if not, then we won't. Oop, they are green. They're like Shrek. Ooh, the command melody. I will take that. My goodness, I gotta tell you. Finding that on my freaking personal seed took her freaking ever. It was holding me back for so long. I think it's this one. And we made it! And of course there's also two more blue shoe jellies we can get here, so hopefully we can get both of them without getting electrocuted, which we will, sadly. <laughs> Alright, uh, hmm. So I guess we can come back here and get that one, unless we get like the boomerang or something on here. Nope, we got ourselves a purple rupee. Dang it. His pots don't do anything. That's so sad. That makes me so sad. I'm usually able to get both of them, but I think it's because I went on a kind of an awkward aisle. Angle, not aisle. <laughs> went on an awkward angle. <laughs> Must said aisle again. That I, I just couldn't get both of them. Because usually I, uh, I do the spin attack. And that's how I get both of them. But in this case, I couldn't do that because, well, I just didn't make it in time. And oof, this is a Pokeball one. Or a mini Moblin one. Or mini problems? I think they're mini problems, not mini problems, but whatever. They're mini problems now. Alright, come at us, guys. Come at us. <laughs> Alright, this one really is annoying. It's not like super annoying, but it's annoying in a way that you just have to wait. Because I always thought that it was the fact that we had to uh, kill all of them, but there's still at least one or two that's left at the end of these uh, getting this chest. So it's just waiting for it, which is the most annoying part. But these guys are not too bad because they only really take like one hit. But they surround you like that, so I guess that's also why it's called the annoyed chest on the uh, marker. <laughs> There's the staffs that this marker has sometimes though. I love it. I would wait at top, but whatever. I'm down here. It doesn't hurt. I mean, it hurts Miss Shay here, but that's about it. Y'all need to back off here. Well, back off. I like how freaking epic she looks, though. <laughs> like, I don't know why she just looks more badass than Link normally does. <laughs> I find that hilarious. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We can go up... <laughs> go up here as a mini mob and just freaks the frick out and bugs off in there. You need to get out of the wall, sir. Okay, you really want to go like that? The others have run away by now, but you? No. You just really want to fight me. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we get here. We got ourselves. Another tingle statue, okay. But I believe there's six of these guys, let's see. Nope, there's five of them. So two more, no. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize uh, how quickly we'd actually end up getting them. But oh well, I ain't complaining. Because that'll be another check that we can get once we get all five of them. It would usually be 500 rupees. But in this case, it might not be. Who knows? Plus, alright, so let's get a, go ahead and get the other chew jelly while we're here. I think it's on this side now. And if it's not, whatever. Yes, because the way we came was through Yale Island, which makes sense. So it, it's this side. And I don't know why we were on uh, this perspective, this camera, on free camera. But oh well, we were. And yes, I really just want to get this. We don't need it, but I want it. Hello, thank you. There we go. So I'm just thinking of... 
And last check that we can do, which I'm not sure, so let's see here. I guess what we can do is go to Dragon Roost Island. I would go to... actually no, I guess we can also go to Pawprint Island. Since we can at least get one of them, maybe two of them. Pawprint or Dragon Roost, I don't know. Let's go to Pawprint, why not? We spent the majority of the first episode in Windfall, which I'm not complaining, I actually really like Windfall. <laughs> Salvage Crop. The, uh, the note for that that they have for the chest is mm-hmm. Because they mm-hmm us. I love it. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, does that one. Does it have gunboats on them? This platform here, I mean? Does not. Okay, so this will get this one done. Then there's Beetle here too. I like how close he is to platform over here. So I guess the last one that we'll get for this episode will be whatever we get from the platform. It's because I'm having a lot of fun. Honestly, it just went by a lot quicker than I thought and a lot longer than I thought. It, it ended up being like 40 minutes or so, give or take. With all the cutting and stuff like that, I don't know how long it would be. But definitely worth it, having a whole lot of fun doing this so far. I hope you guys are too. <laughs> and of course, I'm having fun. I did beat this twice. And oops, I just slapped you guys, I'm sorry. Slapped you guys with my nose. <laughs> wasn't very hard, but I still slapped you, so I'm sorry. And we got ourselves the single statue, 500 rupees. Alright. Well, that's whatever. It's what and end this episode inside Beetle's shop. I just don't know where he is. Okay, over there. So you wonder, I wonder if this, if it's this raft actually that has a chest on it. There's one here. I'm gonna check both these rafts actually quickly. Yeah, there we go. So those just disappear. So used to the um the boat course mini game, and if you run into the barrels there, you just get launched off. And oh, there's. Fire Isle, or Fire Island, whatever it is. Does this one have a chest? No, it's not. Okay. No, it does not. I mean, not no, it's not. The raft itself, I mean, the raft itself also isn't a chest. But maybe it wants to be a chest. Who knows? Anyways, <laughs> let's stop it in here with Mr. Beetle here. Which, oh, oh, ooh, what's this shirt here? What do you have, sir? Secret cave chart for 20 rupees. I will take that. Thank you, Beetle. So I guess that technically is the last check. But there you go. With that then, I shall leave it here. I will stare at Beetle with you guys. Actually, no. Yeah, there we go. So I will leave it here with Miss Shay and Beetle making eye contact and having conversation. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, do what you do, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!